actually would make probably made more just because like <laughs> the betting changes, right? When you flop the turn to really. It's not a fault. It's an invasion of fault. Passive. Passive invasion. Well, hey, have you tried rush poker on that? Uh, Played it one time. Let's, let's cool. 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 Wow, Vanessa limped in with five six of hearts. Cool. And then he could, uh, higher stakes. Th and there is this thing. I mean, I, I don't know if Timoshenko is going to, but he did. He raised <laughs> <a six laughs> I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing, right. amazing how the new breed of players. Every time somebody limps, they raise. And there's times in tournaments where every time someone limps, I'll raise it. I mean, I've done it myself. But look at this. Yeah. Exactly. See, and this is this is the new breed of player, right? He spotted that. I mean, that's he spotted pretty strong, that. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I give Luke Schwartz a lot of credit here for this fight. And is it going to get through? Is Timoshenko got got a remove in him? You move to that table, right? Well, see, it's interesting. He knows he's against an online player. If Daniel would have re-raised it, he would have laid it down. Uh, if a lot of people would have raised it, he would have laid it down. I don't think there's much that, that Timoshenko could do here. I mean, really. This is like, auto, it was automatic play for Timoshenko, automatic play for Schwartz, and now, is there a four bet? God, he's thinking about it. It was funny, it was talk rolling. Timoshenko's making some fun, funny, some interesting plays. I mean, he went a little crazy with the ace king, then he folded the two sixes, last hand, and now, you know, and now he's sitting here with King Jack. Now, see, Tomashenko asking his opponent. Now, if he senses any weakness, he might just ship it. If he senses any weakness, he might just re-raise here. He wanted to know how much Luke started the hand. The answer is 280. So that's a smart move to ask him because once he's got, once once you ask somebody what they've started with and they answer, you can look at them and make a read. And if you sense weakness, you can take advantage of that read. The, the stack sizes say that if Timoshenko wants to raise, he's got to make it like over a hundred, right? And if he makes it over a hundred, can he fold for the rest of his stack? See, Timoshenko knows that when he raised when someone limped, that that Schwartz knows that. But but look, I mean, we don't see a lot of plays uh, mm -hmm. outside the internet where people are raising and re-raising with six four and king jack. On the internet, you see more of that. So the world's thinking, okay. Temeshenko's forced to fold here, but he's also internet based and he's going for it, isn't he, Phil? He's really thinking of going for it. It's like he knows exactly what Luke's up to. Great move. Re raise. It's a great move. Eighty two thousand. There he is! No, he's he re -raise did it! All he that. did it! Are you serious? No way! This is, I have no never, way. oh my, I'm standing up. No I just way. stood up. I just stood up and said, wow. I mean, they both read each other as having weak hands. No way! Pretty big on those. Oh. <laughs> 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 big balls! <laughs> <laughs> did he show it? Oh, right? show it? Yeah. oh my yeah. god, he didn't show the hand, did he? Yes, he did! <laughs> he showed it? What a gutsy play <laughs> from Luke Schwartz, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm standing up saying, wow! Oh my god, that was